I want to start it off with thank you very much. Hook up the little homies. The operation was a success. Thanks to everyone. You'll see your names at the end, the credits. I support who supports me, so I wanted to start that off by saying thank you. One of the memorable things uh, when I was over in Greece that was funny was actually catching the bus to go to the Children's Ark. Um, especially going through the mountains, coming back from Sparta, and basically looking out of the window, and it's complete 150-foot cliff down. Once again, when no one speaks English, that's really fun. And cars dipping and dodging and cutting you off and everything like that. It's amazing. Damn, it's coming. Everybody's ready to be inside. You're good. Yeah, come here, come here tell, me, tell us where we're at. Tell us where we're at. Right here? No, 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 just tell us where we're at, like in general. We're in the Roma camp. This is a Roma camp. This is a school. Explain with... explain what a Roma camp is to people okay. that don't know this what the Roma the camp is. This is the camp. This is the poorest place in Greece. This is literally worse than the hood. The worst hood in America. So basically, we built this school right here. This is the first school that we did. And then we moved into another building. And now, pretty much every day, these kids come back from school and. We give them help with their homework. You know, there's all different sizes. Hi, my name is Maria Larsen. Uh, I work with the uh, international organization Children's Ark. Uh, we are right now in a um, daycare center that Children's Ark has created in the middle of uh, Roma ghetto uh, in Greece, in Examilia. And in this ghetto we have about uh, 800 people that live here under very difficult circumstances, uh, 500 of which are actually under 18, so it's a very, very young population. So what we, what we do here is that we support the children uh, through school. This is a, a place that the kids can come and do their homework every day. We also use it on occasions for medical uh, care and vaccine, vaccinations. Uh, and we also work with some of the parents. This is Vasily. I've never seen this boy a day in my life without some all over his face. Yeah. And he's not disappointing me now. Yasu Vasily Tikanis. Kala? Alright, man, we're about to drive through the camp so you can take a look at the kind of conditions these kids are living in. Yeah, well, you don't have to, you can go either way you want. But basically, this is this is the camp, and uh, I mean, it's not so bad during the daytime. But as far as I know, Maria says at night it's like Newtown 20 on steroids. You don't want to be down here by yourself at nighttime. Five, they are gonna follow us the entire way until we get to Exumilia. That shit is like heartbreaking. So, so this is the this is the bad part of the bad yeah. part right here. This is, a, this, right? this is a non-drug zone, yeah, and the people are poor. They are not, you can see that by their homes. Yeah, see, in America, this is a different, this is way different than There's those. families with little children living in these homes. Oh, dogs. Shacks. This is, yo, know, dogs. It's, it's, it's bed sheets, bro. They make this, they make their houses out of what they can find. Oh, man. Poverty. At a different level. That, it was definitely, uh, Definitely an eye-opening experience, seeing that. Um, big shout out to Miss Maria, Zach, the whole children's art, Sophia, Miss Helen, everybody that I met that I was there helping. That was definitely uh, a different experience. Shout out to all the kids. They were definitely dope. I'm happy they didn't rob me. <laughs> I got to come back with everything intact. Yeah, my man right here just popped up like Michael Myers be out of the cornfield, son. <laughs> This is Kids of the Corn right here. Yo, I'm gonna let y'all know that's watching this video. If we wasn't with Jesus Christ right there up front, I'll tell you right now, me and Zach would have caught some bodies in this joint, dude. Believe that. Like this? He, he, I think he, Boom! I think Costa, uh, he forgot most of your little things that you said because he was 
study every single week. Yeah. He got every Friday. He got ah! most of the presents. Oh, good job. Bullet Brack. It was definitely a good thing, you know, uh, to, to actually go there and see people that were receptive and they were just like happy. It's just not sending a box away or whatever like that. It's, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's all good though. We got more thank yous coming for you, Brack. Yeah. Basically what happens is when they're done their homework, if they show up for the day, they come over here and they get a plus on this little sheet right here and the amount of days they show up determines how big of a present they get at the end of the week. So they get to come in here and they get to grab some out of the box depending on how many pluses they got like for the week. So they can, you know, it depends on how many pluses they get. If they get like four, they get out of the pink box there. Three, two, and then five is the big prize, which are the slippers that you sent. So, yeah, I think you're going to like those a lot, man. So, uh, good job. I guess the moral of the story is, if you can help somebody, just do it. And really, that's what I brought back with me from Greece was that spirit. So, in the next couple weeks... We'll be putting up a new link for another way to help give back to people that are in need of it and that really aren't asking for it. We're just trying to help, you know. Um, also, at the end of this video, there'll be a link that you can go if you'd like to donate to the Children's Art. Please feel free to go and do that. And much love and appreciation for you.